So do you want to get a really super slim sculpted arms? And if you do, this is the perfect workout for you. It is just four minutes. I'm gonna do it with you in real time. And what we're gonna do, each exercise, we do for a duration of 30 seconds. We're not gonna be using any weights. And what we're gonna do is just really tone and tighten those arms so we're still gonna keep that feminine shape. Um, I'm going to run through each exercise and the great thing is the first move is a little bit like doing a warm-up as well So we are literally going to go straight into this workout and then at the end of it That's when we're going to do some stretches. So let's get ready to start toning your arms So this just shows you the first move that we're going to be doing So for this our start position just have your arms crossed across your chest and then we're just going to open up through the arms so you're just extending them out either side so this here is just working through the shoulders we're also working into the back of the upper arms so we take it out from side to side so we're just doing 30 seconds lift and then just take that out to the side and just imagine you're pushing your arms through resistance keeping that going we've just got a few more Okay, perfect. So the next move you can see coming up, this time we're crossing the arms in front. So have your arms extended at shoulder height and now crisscross so you're alternating, taking one arm over the other. Make sure that you don't drop the height of your arms. You want to still keep them at shoulder height. That's good. And again, this one, we're just doing this for 30 seconds. That's good crisscrossing over and also make sure that your palms are facing down and you really start to feel that through the arms this is also really good for the back of the upper arms targeting into that bingo wing area so this one now we're going to just extend the arms in front so your start position take the arms in front and then do a double pulse behind bring the arms back up so squeeze behind and then extend back up so this one here very much really works into those triceps. So you lift in front and squeeze behind. Again, we're just doing this one for 30 seconds. So in front and now hold it double pulse, bring back up. And you're bringing the arms back up to shoulder height. Squeeze behind, extend, squeeze. That's good. Well done. All right, so next move, you can see now, again, we're just working back into that bingo wing area. So this time, your start position, bend the elbows, and now you're keeping those elbows lifted up behind you. Your palms are facing in, your hands are straight, and you're just extending back. So we're just working through one joint here, your elbow joints. This is very much isolated into those triceps. So just lift. Make sure you don't let those elbows drop. You've got to keep those arms nice and high. And again, this one, we're just doing 30 seconds. So stick with me, you will really feel this working now. But that's, remember, when we really get to see results. Okay, fantastic. So the next move, this time, you can see now, we're then taking the arms out to the side. So again, your start position, arms in front. Now extend one arm out at a time. And also, don't let those arms drop. You're just doing 30 seconds of this. So you take it out to the side and then come back. This is also really good for working into what we call the pectorials major. So we're working through the chest as well. Extend and then bring that back. Okay, that's good. Again, don't let that height of the arms drop. Squeeze that back. Take it out to the side. All right, well done. So the next move we're going to do, and now we're going to do shoulder circles. So this time, we're actually going to do this for a minute. So extend both arms out to your side and just you're going to rotate tiny circles. We'll do 30 seconds in one direction and then we're going to change. So just keep that going. It's really easy while you're doing this to slowly start to drop the height of those arms. So if you can, this is a good one to do in front of a mirror. Make sure that your fingertips are in line with your shoulders. Keeping that going and after 30 seconds, I'll tell you when that is, we're then just going to change and take that back to tiny rotations in the opposite direction. Okay, so now change for me, 30 seconds, setting that back and again just make sure those fingertips are in line with your shoulders. That's good, keep that going, you're doing really well, we're nearly done on this one. That's good and you'll really feel it working. 
Okay, so the next exercise, this time now, we are just going to be taking the arms behind. So just extend, palms up, and then you're going to keep them behind. And then again, we're just doing another crisscross back and forth. Again, with this one, it's so much into those triceps, back of the upper arm. Keeping that going. And this is the last exercise today. So just bear with me. We've just got probably less than 15 seconds to go. Keep that going. Feel it working. So it's just alternating, crossing from over one arm to the other. And don't let those arms drop. Keep them nice and high. Fantastic. So that is your workout complete. Well done. You should really feel that working through the arms. Let's now go to doing some stretches. So the first one, just take your arms behind, lift your chest for me, and we're just going to hold this for a duration of 10 seconds. Keep holding that there. Okay. So now let's do the tricep stretch. Take one arm up, then bend. Try and aim to get your fingertips between your shoulder blades. With the other hand, gently ease that down. Feel the stretch through the back of the upper arm. Holding that there. Okay, let's now change. Take that to the other arm. So just place that between the shoulder blades, gently easing that down. Just feel that through the back of the upper arms. That's good. Keep holding that. And now let's slowly release. This time now, let's just stretch for the top of the back. So just take your arms in front. Imagine here, you're hugging like a big beach ball. Just feel that all through the top of the back. Those are your stretches complete. And if you really like the workout, I do have a similar one, which is called my three minute arm toning. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. And this one has just had the most incredible um, comments. So do read them because these workouts really definitely work. And then I have written a three minute a day arm toning book, which is um, available on my website. It's an ebook. And I'll leave a link to that below. And if you're not already, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, just keep me updated on how you're getting on with your training because I love hearing all your feedback. And as I said, if you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up.